any of these, I'm sure. I'm I mean, <laughs> I, like the one that was literally the closest to death was when like we were 16. Mm. No, no, I, I want to say I was, I just had graduated high school, I think. Like, like, where'd, literally, you, grow like, up? where'd you grow up? Northeast Georgia in the country. Okay. Um, kind of near Athens, Georgia, where UGA is. Um, one, uh, I just had graduated high school, I think. So I'd have been like 18 and uh, my cousin was 17 and we were getting really into fitness. We were like, uh, we'd go over to his house and lift weights and then we'd go for like a, a jog at night. And it was always at night, pretty late. And it was July 4th. I remember it was, it was July 4th uh, because the fireworks were going off. And we were out for this jog and um, we went onto some private property because like these people just had put a house up and it seemed nobody was home. And we were just kind of being looky loose, just kind of like, hey, what's going on here? New people. And mm -hmm. they came home. And we looked like I realized immediately, like we looked like trespassers or robbers or something. We were just out here for like a jog, and now we look like criminals. So we ran, and the guy starts chasing us with a gun, and he's screaming for us to come out. And we're like hiding in the woods, running this long loop de loo route to get back to his house, and we get separated. My cousin makes it back to his house, but I've gone to like a crazy loop to get away. Mm -hmm. Long story short, I, when I finally get back to my cousin's house, I come storming into the house because I'm afraid of this guy who's been chasing us forever. He's been like driving his car down the road, like shining his headlights into fields, looking for us, screaming at us. And you can tell by somebody's voice sometimes when they're a big man. And mm -hmm. this is a very big man, I can tell. And uh, my cousin is in the kitchen when I, when I tear the door open with a pistol in his hand. And he pulls the trigger with it pointed at me because he, no! he thinks I'm the man coming to get him. And it goes click. He didn't have a bullet in the chamber of a uh, 40 caliber, like Smith and Wesson semi-automatic handgun. And it was pointed Jesus. like right at my like chest stomach area. So like he easily could have killed me right there. Um, I went that to drive home. And this is how I know the guy had a gun and how I know that it was a big man. Because when I went to drive home, the police pulled me over because that man had called the police. And uh, I ended up meeting that man and apologizing profusely, and it, it all got like washed away. I was like, "What ah. did he say when you were apologizing?" He said, well, "He said I was going to kill you." <laughs> like, I, I thought, I thought, I thought he, he's like, "My kid was asleep in the house." I thought you, were, I thought you guys were breaking into my house. I was like, "We were out for a jog, and we just didn't know who lived there, and we were just curious, and we were just out for a jog." And then we Kyle. saw the TV just sitting there, and then yeah. <laughs> Kyle, I'm assuming oh, in that comics. area of Georgia trespassing is not a smart move not at all not at all no 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 because what percentage of people you think have guns all of them that? yeah all of them all of them yeah all of that's them right. have guns um, that's right I, I i didn't grow up with anybody that i knew who didn't have at yeah, least like right. a gun and yeah, like yeah. most of the people that i knew like had a gun in the vehicle with them if not yeah. more than one you know it was one of those scenarios so yeah that i could have easily died right there if scott had, had a bullet in the chamber by the way I, you could have died two times in that same story yeah I don't mm -hmm. think the guy was going to shoot wildly into the woods or anything at me. Um, but, uh, but like Scott tried to actively kill me right there and just didn't happen, happen to have a bullet in the chamber. Luckily, Jesus Christ, that would have that was sucked. A good one. 